Um, it's the I Have a Dream speech. So tonight, we have something special. We have someone here who's going to deliver a part of that speech for us. Um, so his name is Damien. <coughs> Welcome, Damien. Good evening. I'm Damon Fleming. Um, I, I'm a sophomore. I grew up in a Christian school. And um, a few weeks ago, I had an opportunity to uh, recite one of Dr. King's most famous speeches um, at the annual Martin Luther King commemorative service. So today, I'm going to give uh, you three portions of it that I think are really important. So, uh, can everybody hear me okay? Yeah. America is essentially a dream. It is a dream of a land where men and women and humanity of all races, of all nationalities and all creeds can live together as brothers and sisters and humanity. The substance of the dream is expressed in these profound words. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men and women and humanity are created equal that they are endowed by their creator with certain inalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. One of the first things we notice in this dream is its amazing universalism. It does not say some men, but it says all men. It does not say all white men, but it says all men, which includes black men. It does not say all Gentiles, but it says all men, which includes Jews. And it does not say all Protestants, but it says all men, which includes Catholics. That is something we notice in this dream. And so often America has trampled over the dream. So often America has scarred this noble dream. We look and see certain states saying they will never comply with the law of the land. In doing this, America is scarring the dream. We notice people who merely want to be free being brutalized, homes being bombed, churches being bombed. This is a way of scarring the American dream. We notice people who merely want to exercise their citizenship <coughs> rights being thrown into jail. This is scarring the American dream. We can hear the voice of a little Emmett Till crying from the rushing waters of Mississippi. This is scarring the American dream. And so the Negro is still trampled over by the iron feet of oppression. And so often he has been pushed out of the glittering sunlight of life's July and left standing in the piercing chill of an alpine November. This is scarring the American dream. May I say to you, as been said so eloquently, this dream is being scarred not only in Alabama, Mississippi, and Louisiana, and all the southern states, but it is being scarred in New York, Illinois, and Pennsylvania. And I imagine even in California. But we, through our struggles, through our sufferings, and through our sacrifices, will be able to achieve the American dream. This will be the day when all of God's children, black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics, will be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old Negro spiritual. Free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty, we are free at last. Yes.